everybody welcome back to the underground lair we've got ourselves a Charvel from back before Fender owned them it's got the Jackson USA pickups in it and uh, a shaler or Kaler shaler Kaler um, trim in it that I hear a lot of people don't like it's the first time I've ever actually touched one so it's going to be a trial by fire. So let's check it out. Currently, Fender owns Charvel. But back in the day, Charvel and Jackson, even it says right on the headstock, Charvel by Jackson Char slash Charvel um, was, a, was a thing back in the hair metal days, I guess. So anyhow, we a, a lot of a lot of research trying to figure out this trim. I can find information on other uh, Kaler trims, but nothing on this specific model. Uh, best I could tell is this cam here. Well, I mean, there's a cam that everything works off of as opposed to um, knife edges. Um, it has two springs internal, it's a surface mount. Um, there's no cutting off the ends of the screws you just put the uh, ball ends in there and that's it on the ones I've seen on line there right back here there's a locking screw so that you can lock it in place where you want it so as you unstring things and do all that stuff you're um, you're not uh, causing everything to fall into into the guitar. Um, yeah, there's only one screw holding up the bridge and they're brass rollers and they need to be oiled. All right, boys and girls, today's string of choice is the Ernie Ball Super Slinky 9 to 42s. And, okay, as best as I've been able to cipher on the interwebs, it's not a very hard process to string this thing. There's a little claw down here you want to put your string into. It grabs the ball end. As you bring it up, you take your other end of the string and you put it through the locking mechanism. Okay, now remember the bridge is all the way down in the uh, in the body, so allow for that as well. So that's where I'm going to try to make this go. And we're going to make sure that it wraps under and goes over yeah. goes over the roller this roller was stuck I had to uh, douse that in um, WD-40 for about an hour to get it to turn again all the other ones turn freely so that's what we're aiming for we're getting we oiled the fingerboard and polished the frets, cleaned up the uh, bridge as much as we can. So now we're going to go ahead and string it. Okay, welcome back everybody. We've got our uh, Charvel Jackson with the Kaler bridge all strung up and fairly stretched in. And if you look here, right here, you see this this part of this is kind of up in the air we want it to be more like that so there is a cam that runs this di this direction and there is a an adjustment for that cam there's two holes here one is to I think we'll just turn it and see what happens Oh, that locks the, uh, 
that tightens the tension of the, of the spring. This one here allows you to adjust. Now, about there is where we want it to be. Now it's a balancing act. Good. Nothing like the uh, feel of nice polish frets. Okay, it looks like the bridge is where we want it. It appears that uh, it's now staying in tune as we zeroed it in. Let's see, what shall we check next? Let's check our relief. It is a fender scale, so it's 25 and a half inch, which means we want a 10,000 relief at the 7th fret holding at the 17th. So come on down to there. And I can already see that we're going to need to tighten the truss for up, which will throw everything we just did out the door. Oh no, hold on. Yeah, it could probably use a little tighten. Let's see what that did, because I think we're at the end of our truss rod travel. Seventeen fret, ten thousand. Oh yeah, that's good. May tighten up overnight, may have to release that. But in the meantime, let's check the string height. String height should be around 4,000. 4,000, 4,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. So we're going to bring these um, well, let's see if we have any buzz at all. I think we can raise that all just a little bit. And that will make everybody happy. So. We're going to raise everything. <laughs> oh, that's a design flaw if I've ever seen one. Go back your... string out to get the hole exposed. Okay, that's where I want. That's four thousandths. Raise this one about the same amount. This is where you hope they're not frozen in time. That's exactly where we want that one. So we're 
this first. Okay, that gives me a little bit of adjustment. That should do it. Okay, we like that kind. We're going to let this sit overnight, and we'll be back in the morning to check the int. Well, you know what? I am going to check the intonation now as it sits. Might as well just do them all right now. So basically what you got here is you've got to move this uh, string out of the way loosen the saddle adjustment nut, slide it back, tighten it down, turn it back up, stretch the string so it fits back in the sweet spot. Boom. Okay, good. Hey, still here. He's still there. And the G is a little sharp. So that means, why is it done? Untune it. Have the string out of the way. Unlock the saddle. Push the center back, tighten it back up, put the string back in the slot, tune it back up. Okay, the G is on. He's on. He's on. Okay. There's no fret buzz. While I have the back off, let's plug in the noise maker and see what kind of noise it makes. Electronics are working well enough for the tuner to work. But I imagine it's going to have some noise. That's why I didn't put the backpack on. Fretting out. We've already locked down the uh, the nut. So everything we do is going to be back here. The E is in. Please 
A, B, G, B is still in, B is still in, okay. So that wraps up this video. See, what we did here was I took his, uh, the black um, locking screws. He was missing one. The old ones were black and they had the hex, uh, some kind of hair. Had a little hex hole there. And I, I was able to find these, but only in silver and only in the longer. Um, so I just, I found them with flathead. Everyone has a flathead screwdriver. So if you're out on the road, you don't have your regular set of tools with you and you bust a string and you need to change the string or whatever, you can just find a flathead screwdriver and you're back in business. Oh, by the way, last night I spent about a half hour cleaning the electronics. That's good, that's good, that's good. These, if you go on Amazon or Stumac and look them up, I think it's cheaper on Stumac now because they're on closeout. These pick pickup height adjustment tools. Excellent. So our pickup height's good. Our electronics are clean. We tighten down the uh, switches. Uh, we. I'm going to hit this one more time with the. Um, where is it? There it is. This is the crackle killer. Put it in, pull it out, turn it, and repeat. And you can see, got a little bit of crud out of that. Okay. Now let's give it a test run and see what it's like. Hopefully most of that noise is gone. There's like a little ground noise is right there. It might have something to do with the preamp, but um, I'm not messing with that. This is fine. Okay, everything is still in tune. Ah, and that's why we have our flathead screwdriver. You saw we busted a E string, a high E. So, what do we do? That's a good thing I broke a string here. I think I have a spare laying around. I know I got a bunch of sets, but I think I have a. Ta da! See, that's what I was aware, um, afraid of with these nines. The. With this bridge, you have to, to you're doing two things. You're taking the, the, loosening the string, putting it back in, loosening it, putting it back in every time you adjust your string height to get your string height straight. And then when you go to do your intonation. So with a light, fragile screw like that, time you get it to where you want it, you done wore out that that uh, 
angle there. So I got to dump this out so I can get the ball end out. There it is. Yep, see you don't have to change the intonation or anything. And we're just going to tighten that down. And we're going to call this done. Charvel Model 4. The year before they added the shark fin, or the shark tooth, whatever they call those things. I want to thank you for joining us down here in the underground lair. If you like what you see here, please hit the like and subscribe. We're on the interwebs. We're on Facebook. Send me an instant message. We'll get you in line. I've got one acoustic to do today, and I'll be out of guitars to work on. So get in here and get your stuff fixed. Um, yeah, take care of your neighbors. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. Take care of the old folks because they're precious. Be good to one another. Peace. Have a good rest of your day.